hello guys now we are going to see the problem number 4 from the development of lateral surface from the question bank of engineering visualization in this square prism of base side 40 and axis line 65 resting on hp on its base with all the vertical faces inclined to vp that is first position starting from the corner cut by an inclined plane 60 degree to hp perpendicular to vp so here and the so they have given all the faces inclined to VP means we need to construct the square with respect to the corner position here. Okay. So <clears throat> go to a rectangle by center point and here give the width and height 40 and angle you can give 45 degree. Okay. So dimension here 40 mm. You can see with all the vertical faces inclined to VP means we have to construct it with the corner position here. Okay. I mentioned the namings here. So, so since it is a square prism, we can mention the top face and bottom face notations. Top face notations are A, B, C, D and bottom face notations are A1, B1, C1 and D1 and that should be mentioned within brackets okay because the bottom face not visible from the top view so draw the thin lines here to find out the center of the axis okay here the line should be drawn with the thin lines here okay draw the projection lines upward to complete the front view okay here the front view axis length they have given 65 so we should consider the axis length it is 65 mm give the length 65 okay the front view of a prism it is a rectangular face so we have to draw an rectangular face here for a length of 65 mm okay now we have to draw and cut plane you can see that the section plane at an angle of 60 degree to hp and perpendicular to vp and it is at a distance of 15 mm from the top face so from the top face, I'll be considering a length of 15 mm. So type 15 and then <clears throat> go to axis line. Here you can give the angle 60 degree to HP. So you can mention angle 60 degree. Okay. Extend the axis. You can mention 15 mm here. And you can measure the angle also. Clearly you can show that. So 60 degree to HP and passing through the axis at a distance of 15 mm and 60 degree to HP. So angle also can show angle is 60 degree. Now we can uh, split it up so that we can make that upper portion thin with a thin line. Okay. So that lower portion we, we can make it as thick here. So you can split it up properly. You can mention the cut plane namings here. That is your one. That is point number two. And point number three, it is falling in between B and C. Okay, you can clearly see that. So we draw a projection line downward here, to indicating where it is exactly cutting. Okay, just draw the projection lines. Okay. I will be making it as a thin line because it is cutting in between B and C that is your point number 3 and we get point number 4 in between C and D you can mention point number 4 then you can mention point number 5 in the vertical edge DD1 ok so now you can uh, uh, split it up to check the exact length here 
you can measure it the length we are getting here so you can split it up and check it okay so exact length we are getting it is 12.25 so, so it is falling at a distance of 12.25 now i'll be drawing an parallel line here because prisms will be constructed using parallel line method i'll be drawing a vertical line go to offset command select that vertical edge <clears throat> and give a distance of 40 mm so, okay click enter you can see we have to have four faces because it is a square prism you can mention the naming for it okay you can give the a naming for it 2 and 5 2 it is falling on b and 5 it is falling on d so you can mention that also 2 and 5 okay and 3 or 4 are falling at a distance here at a distance of 12.25 that means you can see that from b it is it is falling at a distance of 12.25 so from here i'll be giving a distance of 12.25 enter and cut the arc in the same way from 5 the 4 it is falling at a distance of that vertical edge 12.25 cut the arc okay so now we can mention this is point number three and this is point number four now we have to join all these so one two three four with a thick line here okay, you can connect it and here from 2 to b vertical edges i am showing it here okay so that completes the problem you can move on to the next problem now so next problem it is problem number five square